Recycling in the Falkland Islands has gone a long way, from only glass recycling available locally to tins and cans recycling starting from 2020. And recently, batteries recycling has been also introduced. However, most of our waste is still going to the tip. In 2018, Amanda Kupfer set up Plastic Free Stanley Group on Facebook, which was inspired by the global movement of raising awareness of recycling and reducing single-use plastic. We had a, a public meeting or like a workshop in 2018, early 2018, and about 60 members of the, of the community um, attended that, which was really encouraging because to begin with, it was just a couple of us that were doing the Facebook group. And this huge turnout from the community came, including MLAs, and people were really obviously passionate about it. The group introduced Plastic Free Challenge to the community, which the government supported. The Plastic Free Challenge included encouraging local businesses to swap out some of their single-use plastic items for alternatives, as we see now paper bags, cups and straws in Stanley's supermarkets and cafes, the campaign did have some success in making Stanley more environmentally friendly. It was at the right time because at that point there was a lot of increasing awareness about single-use plastics. So it's not to say that the group was responsible for all the things that happened, but it happened at the same time. The things that we set out to achieve were achieved, um, or all of them really. I mean, there's a lot, you know, of course there's still a huge amount to do. Um, waste management is still a big issue in Falklands. Currently, tins and cans are collected from households in Stanley on a monthly basis. The cans and tins are crushed and transported to the UK through the Mount Pleasant complex once a year. The glass is recycled in Stanley. It is crushed to a sand-like condition and reused for construction purposes such as road building. And recently the Environment Department organized collecting places for domestic and car batteries, which are also sent overseas for recycling. Recycling started seriously in the Falklands, I'd say, during the last assembly. Um, uh, and that was when the, um, the joint process between the MOD and the Falkland Islands government was uh, first started. And also we've got some systems going now where various crates are given to farms and uh, farms on islands, etc. And we've got the beginnings of a recycling from camp now as well. So they don't have to landfill everything. Now they can put it into crates and have it um, sent in on the Concordia Bay. Waste collection for recycling purposes has recently started at Fox Bay. And the Public Works Department is working on extending waste collection to other camp areas, including the outer islands. This is the very beginning of it. This is phase one, what we're doing at the moment. We will be expanding how we do things in Stanley to other parts of the island. We've contacted local residents in camp, you know, um, to get their opinion and to understand what, how we can help them. The problem is that some of the recycling is quite difficult for, for large metal objects and things like this picking up spent batteries, these are all heavy, and trying to land where, where we can land to pick these up, you know, that, that's all a challenge. I think the more, more recycling we do, the better the island will be and the, the less waste we'll have because we, we have limited landfill here. We have very few places apart from Eliza Cove, which has probably got less than 12 months life left in it. So the more recycling we can do, the better. Apart from recycling, the Plastic Free Stanley campaign focused on the Eliza Cove tip. We spoke a lot with Falkland Island government and lobbied them, I guess, to improve their waste management and waste management strategy. We spoke with Public Works a lot about what their plans were to improve the Eliza Cove tip. A lot of our focus at that time was on Eliza Cove because at around the same time the um, Phillips Point minefield was removed so that people were able to access that area for the first time behind Eliza Cove and they just suddenly realised the extent of plastic that had been blowing off the tip. And back at that point, FIG were very eager and interested to find solutions for that. And we had regular meetings, but actually nothing really has happened in Eliza Cove until now. You know, recently, there seems to be someone that is doing a great job managing the tip a bit better and cleaning up the rubbish and cleaning the fences, which is really great to see. I think it's important to look back and celebrate the successes and how far the Falklands has come in that time. But I think we also need to be very aware that 
there's still an awful lot to do and we shouldn't be complacent. PWD recently recruited an individual to clean the Eliza Co. tip. The idea is to clean up the rubbish in the tip and the ditches and sort out recyclable materials into containers before onward transportation to MPC. Gonzalo, he volunteered to do this and he's passionate about the fork and downs and keeping it clean and, and he's made a huge impact down Eliza Cove and we're trying to support him as much as we can. We've put three containers down there, we've put an office down there, so we'll be collecting batteries and we'll be collecting fridges and freezers and stuff like that, all ready to transport. Work on cleaning up the Eliza Co. tip is a good step forward better waste management. However, there is still plenty of room for improvement recycling in the Falklands. Falcon Island government are planning to start work on a new waste management facility. Next year we'll be starting work on the recycling plant which will be down at Megabed and that will be a large building with a huge incinerator in it and so most of the waste um, material and rubbish will go into that big building. It will be sorted into categories. Some small amount might be taken away for landfill but the rest will be incinerated and the incinerator which is now being built in the UK will be located in the building and that will burn in as environmentally friendly way as you can burn rubbish um, and there will there will be very little um, a sort of chimney effluent coming coming out of that incinerator um, and that'll be a big step forward for the Falklands, I think. Globally, pollution is an important cause of biodiversity loss through strong negative effect on soil, freshwater and marine quality. And it also has serious impacts on human health. That's why developing recycling facilities in the islands and raising awareness about recycling is vital for ensuring protection for one-of-a-kind ecosystem, which is the Falcon Islands.